Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Will, and we are back with Final Fantasy XII. Continuing this. <laughs> Honestly, at this point, this game has kind of really slowed down for me in momentum of my interest in it. And I haven't played all of the Final Fantasies, obviously, but I would say this one's probably lower on the list for me, just because of some of the weird game mechanics this thing's got. Although, to be fair, I haven't played a lot of the earlier on ones. Like, I haven't fully played 2, or 3, 4, 5, and 6. So, like, a lot of those early on ones. But I feel like this this is definitely probably the most, like, growing pains video game in the franchise. Where it's like they were trying to go from 10 to what 15 would ultimately be, and then what um, 7 Remake is. So I feel like this one is just kind of like, we had to lose one to gain the others. Alright, hunts. What are we doing today? Making our way downtown. Check-in lists. Hmm, let's go to Arcadis. And try to do all that. Yeah, we got a bunch of teleport stones. Let's use one. Teleport me, baby! Alright, I think there's two that are there. We'll pick up both of those. Oh yeah, I forgot it was here. Um, Alright, let me check where the other one is, because I don't want to get into the taxi, fly to the other area, and then have to come back here. Okay, so that one's over there as well. Alright. And let me check to make sure, is there any others? Doesn't look like it. And... Hey, there is no bar in the town, so there's nowhere to pick up more quests here. Alright. And away! So I'm really thinking about what we're going to be playing next. The Witcher or Mafia. It's one of those two. I'm thinking maybe the Witcher. I already have that downloaded with like the whole like Game of the Year edition with all the DLC. Which it will be interesting to play because like the Witcher... I feel like I heard it was a good game, but I didn't really hear like it being an amazing game until like after the DLC came out. I think it was Blood and Wine, I think the DLC was called. And then everyone was popping off about it. I should have read the name of the person I needed to talk to. <laughs> head up to that shop and find the person get the thingy find the place we need to go I can't remember I have we ever entered this one I don't think we have I don't think we did
Ach, das geht mal. Exit. Overlord. The hunt begins. I wish there was a faster way to get here to these. Okay, so that's down in the tunnel, so we have to head back out that way anyway. Alright, yeah, we have to go to, like, the more poor area anyway, so we'll just walk on over. Live on in! I need to start rewatching some American Dad, and I need to catch up. Lost track of them over the last, like, five seasons. I love that show. More so than Family Guy. It's Roger. Roger makes that show really fun. more information about the person we're looking for. I passed him. There we go. Okay, so it's in this area over in that little side. Um, shit, man. Did you run it? Did you run it under some cold water? It's like Burns 101. Okay, so we just need to head out of this area. We'll just slowly make our way over there. We have to go through the tunnel anyway for that one quest. Yeah. So many knots of rust. Alright, we're speeding this up here.
Wait, why did we have her on again? What were we doing last? <laughs> Very descriptive, thank you. <laughs> I had a cousin, he worked at a fudge shop once, and uh, part of that is they take the fudge and they like pour it on this table. And when they were transferring it, he spilled it like all over his arm after it came out of the oven. Third degree burns on majority of his right arm. Not a fun time. looks extra bright and I don't know why. Maybe it's just the lighting. How the hell to get over to that other area? No oh, high potion. Seen something here. I'm just trying to run through it. Sorry, for a second there, I couldn't, from a distance, I thought that was a hole in the wall. There's got to be a way to get over there.
Hey, hold on. What? Am I insane? How? Yes, that one I will definitely not hit. I am not a big fan of the fucking, like, stupid, like, riddly bullshit that they do in this. Oh, we have sap on. That's why. Alright. Let's head out actually get the uh open the doors clockwise okay hold on enter from the east so from the center point and then open the doors clockwise all right yeah that would be a problem to reset the doors. We'll just head out to the other area and then back in. Oh, into the cave to the east. Oh, 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 I gotcha, I gotcha. I thought you meant that one specific room. you catch the uh, game awards last night or at least any of the trailers that came out of it there was a lot of really good stuff unfortunately no spider-man all right let's head out of the area then we'll head back in Enter from here. And then we go clockwise from this room. So we'll head down. Okay. circle and then try to unlock it.
Like, here's the thing. I like puzzles. Like, one of my favorite games is The Witness. I love that game so much. I got the platinum in it. But I hate it when the puzzle is, like, in the form of a riddle to solve. It's like, nah, just give me, like, a fucking laser puzzle or just, like, a, like a literal physical puzzle to solve. I would rather do that than, like, something where it's like, here's a hint. It's like, no. <laughs> It's like, that's enough, Edward Nigma, right? I don't need the Riddler here coming to fuck my brain. I'm not the Batman guy. I'm not gonna solve this. Okay. Now we need to find a key for that. Hmm. We'll see where we get this sucker. Hopefully the door will stay unlocked and we won't have to repeat that to reopen it. FF12. Oh yeah, they had a trailer for um, the next Final Fantasy game. God damn, it looks so good. So, so good. I cannot wait. Because, like, they're taking it back to, like, this time period in the fantasy game where it's more like ye olde days. Yeah, 16. Because, yeah, the last few have been, like, futuristic to modern, a lot of it. So finally taking it back to, like, old, like, riding chocobos and swords. I'm really excited, especially with their new gameplay style that they've been doing. Uh, what was I doing? Keys. I actually still need to retweet that trailer. Forgot to do that one. Um... And I am still broke. <laughs> oh yeah, Christopher Judge won. Uh, I think it was uh, Best lead or was it best actor i can't remember he won one of the big ones for uh kratos again good for him Ooh, okay so to get the key we have to be like out in the fields um first step to obtain the key to gain access is to complete hunt 21. Oh shit, is that one of the ones we're doing? Oh no, we already completed it.
Oh my god. This is okay. So you have to complete a hunt, get an item from that, go back into town, exchange it, then go out to like this random post in the middle of nowhere, use that key that you found for that hunt on like this random tower, and then you'll get the item you need. It's just like you added in so many extra levels to this. I just wanted to get behind a door. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm pretty sure we already got, we, we did the hunt, we exchanged it, we did not go out to the pillar. Luckily, we are going out in that direction anyway, so I guess on our way back, I was going to try to teleport back into town, but I guess we'll just uh, walk back and do this. Wait, where are we going? What's happening? I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. This way? Oh yeah, this month's, uh, games. Oh my god, I can't even remember them. All I remember is Biomutant was one of them. Which I remember that game before it came out. I was actually pretty hyped about it. And then it came out, and then everyone was like, it is extremely mid. <laughs> and then I was just like, uh. I don't know, maybe I'll pick it up. Like, I, it's not a bad, I heard it's not a bad game, it's just like very average -y for a lot of it. Yeah. That was like the only one I was interested in for this month. Follow this wall over here. There he is. The big and his attack is up, so. Holy shit snacks. I got taken out quick. Oh yeah, uh FromSoft is coming out with a new game. Well, eh, it's a new game from an old franchise. <gasps> you wow okay um didn't expect someone to be so strong they just one shot you oh yeah mass effect was the uh other one the legendary edition wait was i can't remember is that just like the original mass effect or was that the whole collection that was like the whole collection of the first three right that was a franchise i never got into like i wanted to but then i kept putting it off and now at this point, whenever I look at them, the graphics just make me feel sad. <laughs> yeah, that's the one, two, three. Okay. Because I couldn't remember if they, like, up, if they, like, re-released the first one with, like, better graphics or something. Like, they're doing with The Witcher 3. They're re-releasing it on PS5 with, like, enhanced graphics. Yes, I know. Anyone that knows anything about Mass Effect or has played it always says, I love 2. Choose the best one. 
And then they also made uh, the fourth one too, which was supposed to be like a separate thing. And that one completely flopped because like a lot of people were having bugs and issues with it. I can't remember what they called it. It wasn't Mass Effect 4, but it was like Mass Effect, like some subtitle thing. Like Wayfinder or Pathfinder, I think. Fuck. I hit the wrong one. Keep forgetting. I keep forgetting. I usually need to hit the auto save. Not the uh, save that we did. I can't remember, did they ever make an anime that went with the uh, Mass Effect? I think they did. handle this this guy like was able to hit us from a bit of range Hope this can wipe them out. Come on. There. Okay. Please let this be useful for once. I must believe. This does so little damage, though. So it's like we really need to do this. Please. Oh, we actually really haven't seen his too frequently. Please. My regards. Chain six. Oh, whoa, what's this? Is that an additional hit because we did so many? Oh my god, it counted. Oh, yes, okay. That's the first time that actually came in clutch for us. Ha <laughs> ha! Stuck it. Sweet, we got that. Um, we did it. And we just got a princess's kiss. Wait, how is that possible? Isn't the chain ultimately dependent on how many of those, uh, 
uh, things you have, whatever, like the orange bar. And right now three is the max, so at most you could do three per character. Well, actually, no, that, that could be possible, yeah. Three per character. And, and six characters, yeah. Three times six. Okay, I guess that, that would be pretty possible. Okay, that's what I don't get then. The bars don't matter. I thought you use up the bar each time you do a move, and that's why each move has like a different number of bars. So like if you do a three bar, you can't do like another three bar with that character. Well then what about... What? Yeah, okay, I, I still don't get the system then. <laughs> Where did that person want us to go? I think it was all the way down here? Let's uh, double check our hunting thingy. Good lord, that dude was brutal as fuck. Okay, luckily this one's one step down from it. So hopefully it won't have something that will eviscerate all of us. Okay, we got sap on still, so let's just go over here to the crystal. We'll uh, cleanse ourselves of all that, and then we'll save. Oh, whoa. I'll interact with that after we save. What the hell is that? Save! We're good. What was I saying? I was saying something before we got our asses destroyed. Um, armor Core, yes. Um, From Software is making Armor Core 6, which is like a mech franchise that they have not made in many years. Like ever since they started getting super into Dark Souls type games. And they're going to be making another one, and apparently it will have some influences. That they've taken from uh, Dark Souls, which, what does that mean? Nobody knows. But that was a series I always wanted to get into, and I believe back in the day on the Xbox 360, they had some fucking crazy controllers you could order that were like, it was like a custom like mount controller that had like a bunch of toggles and switches to work like as if you were inside the mech. It was like super cool. Kind of like when people get super into racing games and they have like the whole uh, uh, setup with the, the chair and the monitor right up front with the steering wheel and the pedals. It was kind of like that except for a mech. Almost. It's like that is dope. Yeah. That's something I'm surprised I don't see people that are like into like PC gaming doing. It's like make a full like mecha rig with like a whole bunch of extra like dials and switches which are like specifically hotkeyed to do stuff. Yeah. Oh buddy. Actually what am I doing? Why, why am I wasting time with these fools? Fools! They do uh run down to the one more zone down. All right, let's try to find this guy and then we'll head over to the zone we need to go to to pick up that key. Try to figure that out. Oh, yay, landmines. Fun. All right, I don't see the guy around, so maybe it's one of those we have to wipe the area for it to spawn in. Or maybe we'll, like, do a surprise attack. Right. <laughs> 
Luckily, these guys are just easy, like, one-shots, basically. Oh, yeah, I haven't checked our license in a minute, either. Most of them are already at, like, a pretty good point where we just need to get, like, the ribbons and the super expensive stuff. What the heck? It's, he's in, nowhere in here. Yes, I can. Uh, oh no, he's already taken out. Huh. Let's see here. Oh shit, wow. We got a lot on this boy. Then of course, oh shoot, did I leave that item on him that gives him like double? I think I did. That's completely useless on him. Because he's already got everything. Well, we're going to hit 99 on him. I'm assuming it stops at 99. Shit, I should have swapped that to someone else. Oh wait, no, no. Okay, we already have the ribbon. And, ooh, very expensive. That. Grab these. Then let's see here, Ash. What do we have? It looks like we mostly have just this stuff. All right, ribbon. I still haven't put a ribbon on anyone, so I don't even really know how good that is. Grab that. What the heck? We'll get that guy for her. She doesn't have a summons yet. Just have this little extra corner left. Alright. And back to him. I think we already got all everything else other than these. Or like his main. Might as well just grab them even though we never use them on him. I do wish something happens once you, like, complete the grid for someone. Alright, and then the rest we will put... over here. And I could probably also, uh... go in and mess with the armor, too, and get that better situated. Now that I have most of the stuff bought for most of the people. And I should probably remove that item from him. Oh wait, no, it's not even on him. What? I thought I gave him the thing that uh, doubles the LP. Wow. Okay. And he just built that shit up fast. All right, wait. So like, what's going on here? We're supposed to be hunting a dude here. I'm supposed to be here. Hmm. 
Oh, okay. It's the weather condition. Ah, okay. Well, then I guess the only other thing is we'll leave the area. Uh, we'll try to get that key. And then we will, uh... Come back. Actually, wait. The weather conditioning... We have to leave the whole zone, not just that one region, right? For it to change. Shit. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, leaves on completely. Okay. Let's uh, back our buns out of here. Jesus, God, people. Pick up your landmines. <laughs> So we're looking for a windmill number 10. Which I did not know they were numbered. But the more you know. You the shooting star and rainbow. Since we did all that license stuff, we'll save and search for this windmill. Apparently a cutscene is supposed to be triggered once we get there. <laughs> okay, it's supposed to be in the northern area. How do you... It's, they're not even, they're like, hmm. Okay, Northern Shore, that's where we need to go. Oh my god. Sometimes I undo, like, the fast forward feature just to see how slow they're running and just to realize, yeah, I'm still in fast forward. <laughs> I didn't accidentally hit it and they're running slow. Just want to fill in the map. All right, there we go. Oh, we got stoned. This way. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we did all the previous steps, so we should just be able to go right to it. If not, we'll have to run all the way down to the uh, next town. I think. Shit, that guy can hit him. <laughs> oh wow, there's a lot of these guys around here. Wow, alright, they are. So one of these is windmill number 10. 
That's one level 10. Sweet. All right. Found it. Yes. Okay. Sweet. Thank God we had that, and it was. I'm assuming it's not an item that we could have just sold in the shop to someone. Okay, sweet, we got the key. The key, the key. Okay, and I believe that's the key that we needed for the door. Sweet. Now we just need to make it cloudy and fight that other dude. And then we should be golden. Oh yeah, the other day, James Gunn and uh, DC tweeted out a poster for Blue Beetle. Apparently that movie's gonna be happening. Not of all of their superheroes, they're going with Blue Beetle. It's like, really? I'm not gonna try to do like another lantern. Or like one of the other more important heroes like get their shit together on batman maybe get a nightwing or something release the batgirl movie which you already filmed but for some reason won't release yeah i think it's gonna be the uh jaime reyes blue beetle and not the ted cord yes. one i'm not sure I think it might be kind of like Ant-Man, how it's like the OG Ant-Man's still there, but he's like more of a uh, mentor role. I think it's going to be the same thing with Blue Beetle. <laughs> Which honestly, I would be down with like an old school Blue Beetle, just like a dude in a suit. <laughs> Getting his brains blown out by a psychic guy. <laughs> <laughs> Although... Yeah, because, like, if they do the younger version of uh, Jaime Reyes rather than Ted Cord, it's like, oh, then we won't really get the whole Booster Gold best buddies relationship. Oh my god, my nose. There's another Ant-Man in the comics. Um, God, it was fucking insane. I saw it on... It wasn't comic story and it was a uh, comic pop. They covered an Ant-Man. I think he was like the third or fourth one. And he was just some like deadbeat dude who was like a shield agent who like stole the suits. It was like more of a straight up comedy of just like a total asshole main character. It was a really weird comic to put out. But it was really good.
it was kind of like uh like archer or uh rick sanchez like a total asshole main character but for some reason you just like them and you stick with them of course the original ant-man hit his wife that one time never bring that up in the movies I'm actually excited for I never thought I'd say this. I'm excited for the next Ant-Man movie. Just because it's got a uh, um Aang is going to be in it it looks like. Who's played by an amazing actor whose name I cannot remember for the life of me. But he played like the main character in Lovecraft Country which was a fucking awesome show. It got cancelled after one season. There is no justice in the world for good TV shows. And yeah, shit, it's still like... I, I, I just noticed it's still like sunny out. <laughs> Alright, since we got the key, we'll go save, we'll exit the area, re-enter. So apparently uh, they're really losing their ass on the Black Adam movie and they're going to be losing like a hundred million on it And it's like yeah, I could have told you that <laughs> Because they keep on trying to push that movie as like he's an anti-hero. It's like nah He's a villain in the comics To some extent he's an anti-hero But then they kind of like really fucked it up in the movies but hey, at least we got to see Dr. Fate and he looked pretty fucking sick. <laughs> Hawkman looked weird. They, they always do Hawkman dirty. Every show. Every time. God damn it. Yeah, it did. The movie wasn't as bad as the trailer. But it definitely wasn't... Like, at right now, DC movies are, like, all over the place. But now that James Gunn is, like, leading, or plans to be leading, hopefully their shit will get pulled together and, like, it will be more cohesive. Next Deadpool is gonna be fucking sick. <laughs> we got the Jacked Man back to play Wolverine. I'm excited. Oh yeah, a uh, super important thing too. In uh, Black Panther, they have Namor. He actually used the word mutant, which if uh, you don't know, that was like one of the things that they could never bring up in the Marvel movies because X-Men was owned by a different company at the time. But now that they have all the rights to X-Men back, they can finally use the words mutants. And then people that are supposed to be mutants can now actually be them. I don't know why I'm fighting this thing. <laughs> oh, it looks cloudy. Yeah, plus this is also the first uh, Deadpool movie that's gonna be a part, like officially, with the MCU. So we'll see how that plays out. I really hope they just kind of keep him off on his own like little pocket area where it's like yeah he'll be able to interact with people but like in everyone else's standalone movies they like act as if that never happened Yeah, it is. 
I need to rewatch it. It felt like the, near the ending, it felt super weird, but Namor was fucking cool. Like, as soon as I found out that they were going to be, like, changing up the origins a bit and he, they were going to be more, like, Aztec in, like, origin, I thought, oh, that's a really dope idea. Because there are some, like, ancient civilizations you really don't see much in, like, movies and film. And it's like, that shit's cool. Ancient Aztec civilization underwater. Okay, everything's cloudy. It's raining. I don't know if that will help. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely need to rewatch Black Panther 2. I don't know how I feel about it. I was more hyped about Namor than I was about anything else in the movie. So everything else took a back seat. And don't even get me started. As soon as they got Riri Williams in a cave, I'm like, oh god, is she gonna build that Iron Man suit? Anyone related to Iron Man when they're in a cave, they have to build an Iron Man-esque suit. But, uh, yeah. It, it's weird. Black Panther and Black Adam both have just, like, weird problems with them. Which I'd say, like, both of them have, like, the same weird problems. Yes. Like in Black Panther 2... Why was your game plan to get all your soldiers on a giant boat and to go fight the sea-based enemy? You're going onto their turf. They could easily wipe you out. You make no sense. Okay, where is this person supposed to be? It's cloudy. Maybe it's not supposed to be raining. It's supposed to be like snowing or something? To be fair, everyone dies at least once in comics, though. I do wish they would do, like, a side universe, like, either DC or Marvel. Like, they did it with Ultimates for a really long time with Marvel, with Spider-Man Ultimate. Or Ultimate Spider-Man, sorry. Where it's just like, here's one cohesive story that's being told. Where it's not like, oh, we have to spend, like, 80 years with the same Batman. It's like, nah, let him, like, age, like do a series where it's like, he's Batman, he has the Robins, he ages out. And just do, like, the whole arc. Which they can never do in, like, mainstream comics, because they gotta have those bat bucks coming in, baby. Who are you, a small orphan child? Get that cape on. Go out there, my little human target, and take some fire. Yeah, that, that's always a weird thing. I mean, like, even with, uh... Some of... I haven't been keeping up a lot with the latest DC over the last five years. Ever since they started Dark Crisis, I haven't really kept up. But, yeah, they did that... It's a storyline with, uh... Tim Drake, the third Robin. Where he comes out as, like, bi. Except, like, it wasn't even his story. It was a backup story in someone else's comic. It's like, dude, if you're gonna do it... Like, at least, like, commit to it and make it, like, a character development thing. And not just a thing you throw in the back of a comic. Although, to be fair, he has been going through his whole midlife crisis thing. Where it's like, I'm Red Robin. No, I'm Drake. It's like, don't use your name as your superhero name, guy. I feel bad for him. He's like one of the best Robins, and he was just kind of stuck in a rut for 10 years, and then they just kind of like make him go all over the place over the last few years. Although he was pretty great in Young Justice. The new Young Justice League that they did was pretty dope. And they brought in, like, as many young characters as they could, including Sideways. One of the characters that came out of the whole, uh, 
what was it, uh, Dark Knight's Metal event? When they had the initiative of trying to make, like, a bunch of new characters? He was the one that was like, oh, the Spider-Man ripoff? It's like, yeah, but he's really fucking cool and fun. <laughs> but for some reason, his book never sold, even though he's really cool and fun. Luckily, he's still showing up in the background in other comics, so that's super hype. Uh, nope, I want to go there. In fact, I... I think he's still, like, he's on one of the teams for, like, the latest event as well. And it's like, yes! Soon he'll get his own book again. Although they have been leaning way too hard into the Dark Multiverse. I really hope they just cut it out. It's like, it's good to have it and for it to come up every now and again, but it's like the Joker. You can't just do story after story after story with him being the main bad guy. You need to, like, let him die and go away for, like, maybe a year or two and then come back with a kick-ass story. That's always been a big problem with DC, is like overusing their popular characters. Mainly like the villainous type characters or like the big event stuff. It's like, get your shit together, people. Although it doesn't help that like management there has been like turning over constantly. So new people have been in charge like year after year and just redoing the events. And it's just like, ah, oh, for fuck's sake. All right, sweet, so we completed those. Let's go back to the tunnel. We'll open up that door. Hopefully survive whatever the hell is in there. Um, actually, let, let's go save over at the orange crystal real quick before we head back in. Yes, I have beaten all of the Arkham games and I do include Origins in that as well. Um. And man, I ha I got such bummer news yesterday. So they're coming out with a Suicide Squad game. I was not that hot on it. I thought it kind of looked meh for the most part. The concept sounds cool, but like we haven't really seen any gameplay. So I'm just like, I don't know. They just showed off a new trailer yesterday. Kevin Conroy's back as Batman in that game. And that was his last time playing Batman before he died. And it's just like, shit. I'm gonna have to play the game now, even though I wasn't think I wasn't going to originally. Oh, I haven't played Gotham Knights yet. Although technically that one's part of the whole separate thing. I think. I can never remember. Gotham Knights is separate from the Arkham series, I think, isn't it? Man, that game I have not played it. But I have tried, I have tried to watch people play Arkham Knights. The, like the newest one that just came out not too long ago. And it's just like, I can't, I can't watch it. I don't know why. It's just something about it I find so incredibly boring. And it's just like, I don't know what it is. This should be interesting. <laughs> maybe I'll get, maybe I'll, when it goes on sale, I'll buy it and give it a try. Maybe it's just one of those games where it's just like watching it as a bore, but playing it is way funner. But I don't know. Yeah, Bruce dies supposedly. That hasn't happened before in the comics several times. Now he's time traveling or he's got amnesia and running like a soup kitchen or some bullshit. <laughs> the usual stuff he usually gets up to, you know. The usual bat shenanigans. I do need to read the uh, webcomic, though, that they released, um, of the Bat Family webcomic. It's just supposed to be, like, a fun slice of life, and it's like, yeah, I like that. I like the idea of that. I'm just having, like, a fun slice of life of the Bat Family. Where it's like, it doesn't have to be, like, this intense, we're hunting down the Joker for the 80th time this year. Yeah, probably. Although, who knows? It could be that he's actually dead. They're gonna get him one of these days. I want a Batman Beyond game so bad. Because, good lord, apart from, like, the, uh, comics that are, like, a direct spin-off from the animated series, 
I don't feel like they've really done a good, like, Batman Beyond comic series. You and our boy Terry McGinnis, dirty. <laughs> He's such a cool character. There might have been. I think New 52, they did a run, which was supposed to be decent, but then I think it got weird because they started doing, like, weird time travel shenanigans at some point with it, and I was like, oh no. Not time travel shenanigans. Shenanigans. I need to rewatch uh, Beyond. I haven't seen that since it originally aired. Like, I've seen episodes here and there, but I haven't watched the whole series through. But yeah, that's that's one thing that always blew my mind. It's like the animated series of like the 90s and early 2000s were such a hit. Like Batman, Superman, Justice League, Status Shock, Batman Beyond. It's like, why haven't they started doing those again? Like they always do like one off, like here's a Batman series. But it's like, dude, get your shit together. Do a Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman series. Like do three of those. And then bring them together and do a Justice League series. Like, they did a Green Lantern series not too long ago. It was weird, uh, like, 3D CGI, which was kind of off-putting. But the story was super good. It was the whole, uh, arc about the different colored lanterns. It was really cool. And then they tried to do a Batman in the same style, and that was super off-putting, and that lasted, like, 20 episodes, maybe. <laughs> not even. Really weird character design. I'm surprised that they haven't made like a Yakuza, like a uh, Yakuza party game. Kind of like Mario, Mario Party, except with like all the Yakuza mini games. There are so many. Like, I've only played- I've only really played one, which is like a dragon. There's so many in there, and I know there's like a whole bunch in the other ones as well. So it's like, you- you got a catalog of them. I really want to play the, uh, the zombie one. I don't know what it's called, but I remember seeing it on PS3. There's Yakuza, and like the cover had like zombies and shit on it. Yeah. Which, that's one thing you never really get to see, is, like, a zombie movie set in Japan. Or, like, Tokyo. Mainly because, like, a uh, fun fact, Japan does not really have, like, filming permits. So you kind of have to shoot everything either on a soundstage or, like, get permission from, like, the neighborhoods that you're filming in to film there. So it's, like, it's a nightmare to film movies there. That's why you never really see too many, like, big-budget movies that are actually in Japan. Japanese horror is pretty scary. That That's where you get the whole, like, child with long dark hair and, like, the weird, like, twitchy movement. Like, they're first, they're, like, here, and then, like, speed ramp running towards you. Grudge and ring and all that shit happening. I still have not watched The Grudge. Neither the original or the remake with, uh, Buffy. <laughs> What's her face? I can never remember her name. Although Korean is really... Dude, if you want, like, maybe not horror, but, like, if you're into, like, gore type stuff, like, very violent shit, Korea is really good at very violent shit. Like, they know how to do prosthetics for movies. It is very unsettling. Like, one of my favorite action movies is, uh... What was it? It was either A Man Without a Name or A Man From Nowhere. I cannot remember. It's one of those two. Super good action movie. A lot of really good violence. And uh, there's one called I Saw the Devil, which is like a revenge story. This guy, I think his wife gets murdered, and then he hunts down the guy that killed her. And he, like, he just like slowly, like he'll find him, he'll stab him, and then he'll just let him go and like run away. And he just like tracks him down again and like, Cuts his Achilles tendon, lets him go, run away, and then, like, catches him again. 
it is very gory. There's a scene in it that I do not know how they did. I assume they had to use like some sort of like dummy with like electronics where you see a guy's face get smashed in with like a 20 pound weight except it's like a close-up on his face and you can see the guy's face like moving and twitching and shit it's like dude it is super intense it's like saw wishes they had this gore budget level of intense I need to catch up on some of my Korean movies. I still have not seen some of them. I still need to watch Train to Busan. I have not seen that one, even though I know it's supposed to be super good. And I also need to uh, watch the Korean remake of uh, Money Heist. I went and watched the entire original, and then I started the Korean one, and then it was just like, oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Uh, a lot of Asian shows are uh, got a level of cheese to it that's uh, pretty strong. <laughs> yes. I've really like not seen too many modern horror movies. Like I've watched all the classic ones. You know, all the entire Halloween, Friday 13th. Um, I still need to watch some of the later Nightmare on Elm Street ones. I think Dream Warriors, I think, is the one that I haven't seen yet. But yeah, I haven't. I still need to watch uh, Witch and Hereditary and Summer's Eve, Summer's, Summer's Day, Summer's Night. Can't remember. The creepy one with the cult. As well as all the um Peel movies. Nope, get out. I need to I need to catch up on those. I've missed out the last like five years where they're like the newer horror ones. Although I have seen the new Halloween ones. Use the key Okay, I did not need to do the whole clockwise thing though. So that's good to know if we get our ass beat. I have a bad feeling about this. To quote someone from every Star Wars property ever. Holy shit, what? I don't, I don't know. Uh, what? I don't know how to handle what I'm looking at here when it comes to his health bar. Here's the thing, I like movies a lot, even the ones that are like more slow, because I like the filmmaking side of it. I can't. Like I love The Zodiac Killer, that is a great film. It's like three hours long, sure, strap me in, let's do this. I could watch Mark Ruffalo try to solve a mystery and fail for multiple years. Yeah, Mark Ruffalo, Robert Downey Jr., both in that movie. As well as Jake Gyllenhaal. Okay, I'm gonna try to pull it so it's more like facing me. Okay, what's gonna happen here? I'm assuming each one is supposed to be a health bar, but that's fucking insane. Okay, that's what you gotta do. You gotta, gotta you gotta get in like a triangle formation so like you pull his attention, so he's not always focusing on the healers. Okay, that's one bar down. How how what how? What's supposed to be going on here, buddy? There's got to be like a weird key to this where it's like a special summons or something you're supposed to be doing. Because I can guarantee he is going to get harder at some point. Probably 50%, like the old Dark Souls rule. Once you hit the 50% on the bar, he starts getting aggro. Besides, we do not have enough HP to keep on healing. What the fuck is... 
There's got to be something special we're supposed to do here. Oh, wait, what? I didn't even... How did I not know this? We can actually take control of the guest character? I never really tried. Might as well. Oh, maybe... Oh, what's that one move where it's like you have to... Um... It was a technique, and I think it was damage equal to the number of steps you've taken. I can never remember the name of it. died. Did she even get to cast that spell? Okay, uh, we're in a bad spot here, Chief. Uh, camera really not helping here. Oh, her H- her MP is like nothing, that's why. Um, yeah, we're gonna die here. I don't know what the fuck we're supposed to do. Can we cast death? Is that a possibility for one of our characters? <laughs> Biscuit. Oh wait, no, they don't have LP. Okay, how weak to it is he? Like a little or like health bars worth? <laughs> got any MP we're all out of everything for everyone son of a before the holy was cast um we're definitely gonna have to come back <laughs> clearly and we oh sweet all right sweet we can leave okay if we use steel we can get high ether necklace or there's a three percent chance for an item or like a what a sword um bubble belt is something we should equip apparently is really good um one party member should be equipped with ribbon 
or a power armlet to deal with a stop effect oh god he has a stop effect on top of that too at some point dude all right that's not great um yeah confirmed he's got over uh one million health oh he's level 74 that's why this boy is level 74 Okay, hold on. There, there's a video. I just want to see, like, when you actually can, like, fight this guy, what is the kind of damage we should be doing? Oh, it's, it's like, almost 40 minutes of the fight, dude. Please tell me that's, like, a lead-up and everything, and that's not just the fight. It's just a 40-minute straight fight. It looks like it. God damn, even when you're set up to actually beat him, it still takes 40 minutes. That, that's MMO levels of, uh, like, we're gonna raid this thing of a fight. I think no fight should be 40 minutes long <laughs> in, like, a single-player game. Ex use expose okay so expose is supposed to be something we're supposed to be using um let's see here what is that move what does expose do yeah i found a really good page that tells us like a lot of information all about this quest share needle expose okay first defense of the target to 90 percent of their base defense. Okay, so Expose is super good at, like, weakening them. I forgot. I still need to pick up some Phoenix down, because I'm pretty sure... Fuck. We are out. <laughs> I forgot we were out of Phoenix down. Dude. Here's the thing, if the fight's like active, like DMC or like even Kingdom Hearts, I'm okay with it being long. But here it's more of like a tactical, semi-tactical fight. Like a turn based I don't feel, I feel like most turn-based games should not have a fight that that's long. That is that long. I'm probably gonna f try to farm some levels. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I might not even beat him. Maybe I will. We'll continue on to do other stuff. At your best. And we're dead. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. It's weird. It's like, I like hard games. I like challenges and difficulty, but there are just like certain kinds where it's just like, this is just like a grindy, you have to be max level to fight him kind of difficulty. Where it's like, if it's something like, I don't know, Warzone or like call, like, yeah, Call of Duty Warzone, like that's a hard game to get first place in, but like you can do it. Or like Dark Souls, like if you're skilled enough, you can do it. But it's not a matter of skill, it's a matter of just, like, getting enough levels. Fuck! Alright. This guy chaps my cheeks, son. Let's, uh, let's go turn in the two fights that we did. Yeah, we'll continue doing this. I'll try and grind off stream a bit because, yeah, like, only one of us is... Oh, fuck. That's where they got it? That's where it auto-saved? You son of a bitch. Um... 
Well, for one, we could probably heal. I still haven't came across the person that gives us... Uh, ether. I keep doing that. Oh, we got a lot of high potions. I did not realize how many we had. is murdering my ass. Oh my god. Nope. Open door. Thank you. Holy shit. Like it's a door. Why can't I just walk up to it and then you push it open? That would be great. Unless it's like locked and then you have to interact. Son of a mother's lover. Like, am I s- I was gonna say, is there like no like hotkey thing that we could do when we come to this menu? Like in Kingdom Hearts, you just hold down like, what was it, L1? And then this whole menu changes and you can just like, it's a hotkey of like things that you always use. It's like, that would be so helpful to like set high potion or something to it. You hit one button. Boom, this menu changes, and then it's like all the items that you use most. Super useful. Speed stuff up. Oh, fuck, it's the landmine. Ah! The landmine tunnel. God. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, we have hover. We have hover. Oh my god, this is the one character that has it. Yes! Yes! We have floats. Oh my god! We are so lucky. The one character that survived is the one that has it. Sweet! Let's do this. Come on. I swear, it's like you have to wait 10 seconds at the door before it pops up. Oi! Nope, not, not even. Not even, son. Not, nope, nope, nope. I'm dipping. I'm dipping. I'm fleeing. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Door. Alright, we're so, I think we're about there. Elevator, please. 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 Oh, it is the right room. Oh, thank god. Okay. Oh my god, we got so lucky! The one character that survived had float. <laughs> Woo! Let's activate the lift, go into town, save at a fucking crystal, and get everyone back. Hmm. There's a... We're alive! And we are fucking saving!
Yeah, because I remember playing 10, that was pretty streamlined and straightforward, and I don't really remember having to grind. I could, I, it was pretty much just like walk path forward and we were set. Like, don't like dip out on any of the fights you run into, but like, you should be like basically the right level every time moving forward. Although this is a lot more open. This is, I think this is the first time, no, actually 11 would be the first time that they were experimenting with an open world. But for, like, a single-person open-world, solo experience open-world game. Actually, let's check. I want to make sure everyone's still sitting in the same spots and they didn't move somewhere else. I doubt it, but we'll see. Alright, there. And there. Alright. Yes, yeah, seven, I guess. Hmm. I haven't looked too much into all the original seven. Just because I didn't want to get spoiled. Like, where am I? What's happening here? Oh, don't tell us right. That was right. Fantasy 1 did have one thing that like totally broke me and I had to look up and that was the Rosetta Stone. So in the first game there was this stone that you needed to I think it was translate some text and it was in these ruins and I know it was in these ruins but I just could not figure out how to get to it and it was just like old school like pixel based game that like you had to think about where back in the old school days sometimes what they do with like maps is when you left through the right side you pop up on when you left on the uh, left side you'd show up on the right side of the map and it's like i completely forgot that was a thing they used to do in like old school like pixel games so it's just like oh fuck i i spent hours trying to figure out how to do that until i looked it up and then it's just like oh i just had to walk it, it was super straightforward it's just like walk here boom you're right there you got it but my brain wasn't used to thinking like that because I didn't play too many super old games that were like pixel-based RPGs where that's like a mechanic they would use. Although to be fair, Final Fantasy was like the first big RPG, so that was probably like the first time a lot of people saw that. Or actually no, Mario did that. I think in some of Mario's original games when he had like the whole like Use black background with like the pipes and shit, and you'd go through one side out the other. And Pac Man. Yeah, like super old school, like the original arcade games, they do though that kind of shit. And they kept that mechanic in the uh in the first like big RPG. What are we doing? We need to talk to you, Chungus. final the first final fantasy for the first time it was on the psp when i was in college so like i was already I, I was like okay i'm good i, I got this so i just kind of 
went with the flow until I got to the Rosetta Stone and it was just like, fuck. But then after that, I was like, okay, I'm good. It was the only thing I needed help with with the original. And then I only played like the first, I think, hour and a half or two hours of the uh, second game. And it was like, what was it? The Rose Knights or something? And like, I got to see the whole uh, weapon system that levels up, which I thought was a somewhat cool idea. There is one RPG that's on the DS that's insane, where it's like everything is a skill that you can increase just by doing it. So it's like walking and running. That's a skill. You get XP just by doing that and leveling it up so you can run and walk faster. Swimming and like just like everything in the game gives you XP for that specific thing. So you can always get better at it. I can't remember what it was called. But I think it was like a... I don't think it was a pixel game. I think it was like a... You know, it's semi 3D that they were trying to go for on the 3DS. Okay, sweet. So we got those. Um, okay. We got the reward for both of those. Let's see what is the next place we should go. Yeah. Although I couldn't remember, I didn't get super into it, so I didn't know if it was like each individual weapon or was it each weapon class. So it's like if you used a buster sword, like all buster swords would be at that level or was it just that one specific weapon? I couldn't re I couldn't remember, but like I said, I was super early on, so I didn't know how that worked. If it was like specifically that weapon skill or if it was just that literal weapon. Um, let's see here. We got one in the mountains. Hey. Ooh, okay there. We haven't went there in a minute. Oh, we do need to go there, and we do need to unlock the back area. I don't know how we do it, but we need to do that so we can fight a summon that's back there. And then, yeah, one more here. Actually, wait, this one's weird. It's like inside the, the uh, airport area. Magic is always a thing that's broken in most, like in a lot of games, magic is always something that's like hard to balance. Like look at the Dark Souls games, almost every single, actually, I think every single game that has that's a Souls-like game that has magic. It's super busted and OP. Although, I don't know. They do some weird shit with magic in some of the Final Fantasies. Like, the magic system in 15 was so fucking awkward and weird, and I never could get into it. It's just like those weird magic ball things that you'd throw. It's just like, why? It's like you have guns. Make the gun just shoot, like, magic bullets or some shit that's, like, a specific element. That would have been just so much easier for my head to wrap my head around rather than like these weird orbs and you can combine different amounts of each element and if it's the right amount of each element then it like makes a whole new thing. It was weird. Super useful for some people but for the most part never used it. I'm wondering if they're going to have like a really good uh well obviously they have a good soundtrack for uh the next final fantasy game but i'm wondering if they're gonna get another like really banger of a song because like the 13 series each one had like one song where it's like an actual like here's a person singing this song where it was like a full-on vocalist and then in 15 they got florence and the machine to do that awesome cover of stand by me which gets DMCA'd into the ground every single time, even though it's supposed to be the emotional high point of the game. But it's like, ah, you got us. You got us. But I'm wondering if they're going to get another really good uh, singer to do a song for the next one. I hope so. 
it's always fun when they when a game has like an actual like full-on song and not just like a theme like legend of zelda like they have some really notifiable like music but they don't have like the theme song like kingdom hearts if you are any kind of weeb or video game nerd at some point you have heard the opening song to kingdom hearts somewhere Because that shit slaps. It's a banger. Every single one of them. <laughs> Although I do wish they would redo the uh, Dragon Quest theme. Because uh, it, it's like upbeat and cheery and like they'll play it during like intense cutscenes. And it's like this is supposed to be like an intense cutscene. And you're like bum 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 bum. It's like, no, fucking, it's supposed to be dark and brooding and not like super happy. What the fuck is wrong with you? I really wish they'd redo the main theme for that game. Like, it's a good song, but they use it in bad ways. Um, airship, airship. Wait, where? Are the fortress. I want to go to the fortress. Wait, private airship. Oh, wait, is that just. Okay. World map. I can never remember the name of this frickin' fortress. There we go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't remember. Private cabin just means we go right away, I think. Yeah. It's because, like, um, okay, fun fact here. With Japanese uh, music, like modern music, a lot of it came from. Okay, history lesson. Japan was a closed off country for many years, so all they had was traditional music. But when they finally opened up their borders, it was around the time that blues and jazz were really popular. So, like, a lot of their baseline music starts out as, like, traditional Japanese or, like, blues or jazz. That's why a lot of their pop music uses a lot of, like, blues and jazz notes. That's why a lot of their songs are very danceable, even the dark ones. It's because they have a root in, like, blues and jazz rhythm. Fun music fact that you'll never use. <laughs> I know I never do. Alright. Who do we need to talk to here? Yeah, private skips. That's what I wanted. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Who should we add here? Who, and who is this? Oh, that's the asshole brother. I'm actually not sure who the hell this is supposed to be, though. It just seems like some rando. Remember this guy? He was in this game for like 30 minutes at the beginning. Probably not smart to go with this one, you know, the unseen tentacle monster. Oh, really? Her? Wow, okay. I think it was just gonna be some dude. Yeah, and that's just because of like 
Um, well, to be fair, with like the 80s Yakuza game, that was still like before internet. So like more modern stuff, it like gets spread a lot faster, but yeah, a lot of their stuff is like behind. Although I really like it, just because like uh, uh, I am a fan of new metal, which was not a good genre for the most part. But uh, that really got roots in like Japan big time. So a lot of their metal bands have like new metal groove to them, which is just awesome. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, before the internet was like widespread, obviously the globalization of music would be like slow in terms of like it's spreading. So it would be natural for like it, other countries to be like a decade or so behind because of that's how long it takes to like export our music and stuff. He's like, as America, we have the advantage of like, we make a lot of like cultural touchstones when it comes to like music movies and tv and we export a lot of it but we don't really import a lot of it from other nations until the last few years like netflix has really helped with like importing a lot of like asian tv shows and stuff and movies that's really helped just the ease of access the hunt begins this is going to be a mistake. <laughs> oh, it's here. Okay, maybe it won't be that bad. I thought it was going to be some sort of evil hell spawn, but it looks like it's probably just going to be a plant thingy. Okay, so yeah, it looks like we're just going to be going to the forest. Um... Let me check the world map, I think. It's not that far. Ugh, I'm lazy. I'm just going to teleport stone us there. need to I keep putting it off like I started listening to the new Deer and Grey album this week and I only got like halfway through it and I fell off because I was like doing it while I was gaming and it's just like no <laughs> their newest album is like one of those things where it's like uh it kind of like the songs can kind of easily blend together so it's just like shit <laughs> I need to actually sit down and listen to this so I can differentiate the songs <laughs> Because the first few are really good. And then the mid part, it kind of gets muddled together and it's just like, shit. <laughs> Didn't even know they released an album this year until I uh, heard someone tweet about it like last weekend. And I was like, shit, how did I miss that? I said I was going to teleport there. What the fuck am I doing? I'm so lazy, I don't even listen to myself. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, 
Well, we're already halfway there. We haven't went up to the beach in a while since, like, the main story had us go over there. And I'm surprised there hasn't been any hunts that brought us over there. There was this one band. I think they were they were Swedish or Polish. Oh my god, it's driving me crazy. Their name was It started with an S and they had their first album was really good and they sounded so much like Tool. You would not believe it. You it was just like, "Wow. <laughs> this is I'd have to check with the lawyers on the copyright infringement on this one." Really good album. God, what was it called? Soed or Sawad? I can't remember. I think it was like S.O. something. Oh, it had the uh, drummer. The old drummer from Opeth. Opath? Opeth, Opath? Yeah, it had, I think the original drummer from Opeth started a new band and that was the new band. Usually more into melodic or like alternative metal stuff. Like I like big fan of Tool and Deftones. Um, not that big of a fan of like Metallica, like the old school metal ones. I'm not super into. I think out of all the older metal bands, I think I'm probably the most into like uh, Black Sabbath. That's only like, dude, Crazy Train is always a fucking good time. <laughs> Damn it. I'm more into the modern stuff. Uh, do, 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 do. Although I do need to catch up. I've kind of been slacking on staying up with music over the last uh, five years. <laughs> A lot of my musical tastes kind of ended with a uh, 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 Warp Tour. <laughs> a lot of Warp Tour bands. Dude, Bad Omens. There we go. That's like one of the newer ones that I started listening to. So fucking good. The lead singer is Buttery Smooth Voice. I still need to listen to their, uh, like their full catalog. I've only listened to like their latest album and like a few of, like a few random songs. <laughs> I think it was up over here. Yeah, I usually love any stuff that's got like high technical work uh, in terms of like uh, difficulty of like how to play the drums or like guitar skill. So it's like I love math rock stuff like Chan or Polyphia. Oh my god, their stuff makes me cry every time, because it's just like, if you play an instrument and then you hear it played so freaking well, you're just like... I should just give up? Why do I even bother? <laughs> it's both amazing and also hurts you at the same time just to listen to it. Yeah, kind of like Dragon Force or uh, Animals as Leaders. Ugh. Unfortunately, now it's gotten to the point where so many of the musicians that I listen to have eight-string guitars. It's just like, God damn it. They got me. 
I am finally gonna have to buy an eight string just so I can play some of their songs. I was holding out for years, but now it's at the point where so many of them have like seven and eight strings. It's like shit. I get a new one. I need to listen to more Dragon Force. I've only heard a few of their songs, which I can't even remember the names of. And it's just like, I know they're pretty great. I need to catch up on them. Like when I got super into metal, I mainly got into Japanese metal. Just because it has like a lot more of a groove to them. But yeah, they, there are some weird fucking Japanese bands that I got into. Like uh, Versailles was amazing. Which was like super like operatic with the singing. Yeah. Gazette, Deer and Grey, who are the big ones that I love still to this day. see I thought this was the zone but maybe there's some sort of special condition for it yeah let's see here what are we doing? it scares easily Okay, so, yeah, just by us fighting the other animals makes it run away. Well, that seems pretty easy. To, uh... Actually, wait, shoot, I didn't look. I need to find the exact location where it's supposed to be. That way we can just run to it super quick. Oh, it's just, like, right at the crossroads. Ah, oh, man, okay. Sweet, so it's not even that far away. Oh yeah, probably. No, no, no. I'm gonna take it like we shouldn't kill anyone and just run past. Nothing. Oh, wow. Didn't even see that. I think we already like killed most of the things here. Well, might as well. It's the last thing alive. Yeah. Let's leave the area. Or maybe we'll have to go two areas out and get everything to respawn. Like, this seems like an area that would have plenty of, like, side paths that are, like, tree branches and shit. Ah! Well, there's one there. Maybe I should clear that guy, too. It's just supposed to be, like, right here. Ether. Yes, we need that. Well, that guy respawned. So, shit. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go out two areas and then come back. And hopefully everything will be respawned. And then, and then if that doesn't work, then we'll just clear the area. Yeah, it said it didn't like 
That's killing monsters, so... I would just take that as to assume that we were supposed to be passive towards them. Alright, yeah, okay. It seems like it's not here. Sure, there's none up here. We're good. Nah, I'm confused. Suckers. Alright, I can't remember. Um, we haven't had to do this for too many of these. So now let's go back. I can't remember if it will just show up now. Or if we have to leave and re-enter after killing everyone. Will you be there now? Like, I'm not insane. This is that that's supposed to be the spot, right? Yeah, it's supposed to be that intersectional area. Scares off easily. path there's one right there yeah they just respawn when we leave and re-enter though or maybe we just have to keep on wiping them out until there's no more left <laughs> Sometimes I hear stuff like moving around, but I can't tell if that's supposed to be the monster or if that's just normal background noise stuff. I'm just going to attack.
it's supposed to be right here. Okay, yeah, mm, buddy. <laughs> We're not supposed to kill anything, so yeah, let's just leave the whole area, re-enter, run all the way back in. We're leaving the entire zone. We're just super, super careful of this. We can smell the blood on our hands. Or sap, based on their tree-like monsters. Health. Okay, we're about halfway there. I'm surprised, like, we haven't gotten, like, poison or something from this thing. Although it's pretty strong and really whooping our ass, so. All right, guys, come on. Pitch in. Only a few thousand more damage. Holy shit, Pinello. She has, like, everything. <laughs> hey, we got this. Nice. It was well done. Yeah, Pinello's got all the disease. All right. Good luck, Pinello. I might not probably not be thinking of you. All right, we're just gonna run to the center, get to the orange crystal. And I think we're gonna call it then. We still have, I don't know how many total quests there are. I think maybe 50? We'll, we'll go around and check on a Monday to all of them. Hey. All right. That's it. All right. We are done for today. Uh, like usual, tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday, we're going to be doing Yakuza Like Dragon. I might stream a bit later than I normally do tomorrow. We will see. I have some plans, and if they fall through, I'll stream at regular time. But I'll let you guys know over on Twitter, which links down below for my Twitter, where I tweet out every day when I'm online and when I'm playing. As well as a link over to my YouTube channel, where all my previous streams are uploaded. But as of now yakuza next two days we'll get back into final fantasy 12 on monday and then back into that tcg game in genshin impact on tuesday which i have been obsessed seeing over even though it's been pretty easy so far i've really really gotten into it surprisingly more so than i thought i was going to i thought it was just going to be a simple little kitschy game i've been getting way into it <laughs> was as into it as you can it's pretty surface level to be fair right now but hey, that is it for today. The end of day 829 of streaming in a row. Yeah. Thanks for coming out and hanging out. And I will catch you all next time. See ya.